Hello, douchebags. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're not douchebags. Well, I don't know all of you, so as far as I'm concerned, yeah, you're all douchebags. My friends are douchebags. All you random subscribers are douchebags. And don't take that the wrong way. I mean, being a douchebag could be a good thing. You, you know, douchebags have like tend to have like really nice cars. Like you always see that guy with the Hummer who thinks he's a badass just because he's driving a Hummer, even though he's wasting tons of money on gas. But because he's a douchebag, he still drives it. But well, then again, I shouldn't say that all douchebags drive really nice cars, because I could probably name a few that drive some pretty shitty cars. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I suppose I should focus on the video at hand here. Um, I will pronounce my name for those of you who can't read it um, by introducing the video. So, hello, I'm Nemic Virus. That's how you pronounce that. Um, I have various people who call me Nemic Virus. It doesn't really matter uh, to me, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, anyway, I'm playing Minecraft again. Now, uh, typically when you guys watch my videos you notice something and that's that you can hear everything I do on the keyboard whether it be clicking the mouse or pressing the spacebar to jump or whatever and I personally find that really annoying I can't stand when I do that like in my videos or when I watch a video with a uh, um, with someone who has that same issue um, so you know I decided to try something new but before I go into that um, I'd like to explain my reasons for not posting any videos because I think it's been a fairly long time since I posted one uh, <laughs> I it's gotta be about a month and a half two months somewhere in there and my god <laughs> it it seems not like that long of a time but uh, in terms of the YouTube world that's like enough to make someone unsubscribe to you and uh, I see that majority I think I maybe lost one subscriber but the majority of you have, you know, stuck with it, and uh, I know most of you are my personal friends, so that's understandable. But some, even some of the randoms that I don't know, like personally, have stayed, which is really surprising. Um, I'm just guessing they're not too like vigilant in that area, like they're subscribed to other, pe so many other people that they're just focused on that, and not who they're not watching. Uh, but regardless, um, I hope everyone still enjoys my videos because you know I make them for everyone and for myself too. But um, the reason I haven't been making them is because I recently started college. Uh, August 28th is, was my first day. And I, I don't remember the last time I made a video and uploaded it, but it wasn't too long after that. Probably about a week or two. But um, anyway. Um, so, you know, why start, why start this all up again after like a month and a half of not doing it? Well, you know, I, I, there's a few good reasons. Um... One, probably the most important reason, is that I enjoy doing it. Simple as that. There's nothing else that I really have to do when I get home from school other than sit here, maybe text a few people. That's about it. Um, I'm unemployed at the moment, but, you know, hopefully that changes soon. I, I need to get some money rolling in. I'm basically living off birthday money that I get from my parents every, you know, year, Christmas money, etc., holiday gifts. But, um, anyway... Uh, another reason I started up again was because, uh, well, okay, okay, let me back up for a second. The one thing that, um, really kind of drove me away from this was recently, um, the Battlefield 3 beta was out, and I've been waiting that for that game for, like, so long, because I love the, the Battlefield series, and so I was playing that, like, nonstop for the one and a half, two weeks that it was out, and now that that's over, and I have a 15-day period with no games to play, basically, because I don't want to play any of my other games on my 360. Um, I have come back to Minecraft as if it was, like, some sort of calling, I guess. It, it's not like it's this game was calling my name the second Battlefield 3 beta got over. I This is just the only game that I really found that I wanted to play after it was over. Uh, so, naturally, with watching YouTube videos all the time and seeing commentators, it, I the urge came back. <laughs> it's... I can't really explain it any other any better than that, but uh, the urge came back to make videos again, and um, so I hope you guys are happy about that, because I'll probably be making them for you know a decent amount of time, and I'm actually on a good sleeping schedule, so I'm probably gonna sound more awake in my videos. I, I hope I do anyway. Um, 
because I think that was a, another th key problem with my videos was that I always sounded like, man, I'm going to kill myself in like two seconds. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm back. And now that the Battlefield 3 beta is over, I'm going to be doing this again. And uh, as I mentioned before, um, you guys can't hear my clicking as much anymore. You, you won't hear any clicking or keyboard typing unless I'm specifically doing it during the commentary because that's exactly what I'm doing as a commentary. Before I would do live, live commentaries, and that's when you could hear all the stuff. What I did this time was I recorded like an hour and 15 minutes of straight Minecraft, nothing else, and I simply just recorded the game sound. I didn't record the external sound, so you can't hear me talking or clicking or anything. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking chunks from those recorded clips, and I'm putting them all together. They're they're all in order. Nothing's like it's not like a montage of Minecraft by any means, but um, and I'm just going to take those chunks in about twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, somewhere in there. I'm gonna make them into each individual episodes with commentary over them. Um, hopefully I can find stuff to talk about in each of the videos because that's mainly my key um issue here. I don't know if uh, I don't know like. If it's going to be insanely hard for me to come up with topics or not, because I haven't really done just straight up like overlaying commentaries. I've just done live stuff, and um, that's kind of um, what I wanted to get into about that. Is uh, it's kind of different um, doing an overlay commentary versus like a live commentary because with the overlay commentary you have to uh, overlay commentary. By the way, is some kind of word that I made up. It's not really what it's called. I I just that's the only type of way. That's the only way I can think of saying it right now. But, um, it's like you actually have to come up with, uh, actually, before I, before I continue, um, it gets pretty dark in here, so, uh, I, I, I actually stumble into this dungeon right here, I got curious because I thought it was a stronghold and I was getting all excited, but, um, it gets pretty dark here, so I put on a sort of, uh, night vision effect with Sony Vegas, it's not the best, but you can see better than you would have. Um, so I hope that doesn't bother you too much, except that, the thing is about this part is I didn't realize it was a dungeon. So, um, you know, I didn't realize that monsters were going to come and get me in about 20 seconds here. So <laughs> I kind of got ambushed and I got stuck. And, uh, this whole escapade happens here where I'm trying to survive inside a wall, like, this whole night. <laughs> and then, uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, but anyway, you'll see that, you'll see what happens, um, as you watch. But, um, let's see, what was I talking about before? Oh yeah, the overlaying commentary versus the live commentary and how the uh, overlaying can be somewhat difficult. Um, see, when you, okay, this is this is my personal um, issue with it. Yeah, see, there's that night vision effect. It's just black and white, and I brightened it a little bit. Um, but anyway, the overlaying commentary is like, you actually have to come up with different things to talk about than what you're actually doing. Because, um... When it comes to the live commentary, my habit is to actually start talking about what I'm going to do next and, you know, what should I do next and start, like, thinking out loud, brainstorming and stuff. Um, and overlaying commentary, you can't really do that because you already know everything that you decided to do. And uh, so it, you kind of have to come up with other things to talk about to make it interesting. Um, I think it's more interesting to do it this way, actually, because I have... I have this incredible ability to just keep talking, like, over, for, like, I could go for, like, hours. Sometimes I even end up talking to myself. I know that makes some people think I'm crazy, but it's really not that bad at all. It's just, I'll start talking, and then, like, two seconds later, I'll be like, oh, I'm real. I'm talking to myself. I gotta stop. So I'll just go back into my head. I just have constant thoughts rolling through my head. <laughs> um, you can probably tell by the speed that I was just talking there. I kind of realize it now that I was talking like incredibly fast there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe other people don't really see it that way, but um, to me that seemed like I was talking like a mile a minute. But um, anyway, the other, th um, so the thing about overlaying commentaries um, that it's gonna affect me is that I don't exactly know what to talk about every video. I mean, I could talk about like, you know, the stuff that everyone talks about, like whether or not marijuana should be legalized, religion, and what is and isn't religion, and, you know, all that stuff. Um, but I don't know, let's see, I don't, or my philosophies even, I mean, I have some pretty unique philosophies, but nothing that you probably haven't heard before. So I guess they're not unique, so whatever. Don't correct me on that, I'm just talking a mile a minute, and my thoughts are coming and going really quick, so I have to get them all out before I lose them. 
I swear to God, if any of you make a sex pun out of that, I'm, I'm going to be ashamed of you because that would be terrible. I don't even know why I thought of that. But anyway, um, now I really lost my train of thought. I was somewhere along the lines of overlaying commentaries and, oh, okay. Well, basically, if you guys could give me ideas, that would be great too because uh, if you guys want me to talk about something specific and get my, you know, views on it because I know I'm not exactly forthcoming with my type of personality and what I exactly think and what I value. So if you guys want to know something, uh, just uh, give me the A. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just give me, you know, just tell me what it is and I'll totally talk about it in my next video or one of the, one of my upcoming videos. Because, um, like I said, I've got about an hour and 15 minutes of footage. So that's about four or five episodes that I got lined up already for, uh, you know, so I need commentary for all those videos. And this video is about 25 minutes long, I think. But, so yeah, any ideas, throw them out there. I'll consider them for the next video. You know, if they're totally outrageous, I'm not going to, like, be like, okay, well, I'm going to talk about that anyway because it's so ri ridiculous it might be funny. No, I'm not going to do that. Unless it genuinely is funny, I might talk about it. <laughs> because if it's so outrageous that I just kind of laugh about it, you know. I might have to mention it at least. <laughs> okay, but um, anyway. I think that's enough of that. I really, uh... There's really uh, nothing that I had planned other than that. And it's only about 11 minutes into the video. <laughs> and I think I got a much longer way to go. Uh, if I remember right, it's about 20 minutes. So, um... I kind of wanted to talk about, like, the series here, or quote-unquote series. I mean, it's not exactly a series yet, but, you know, it, it'll it get there. <laughs> and they're long. I, I can understand, like, this part right here where I'm just, like, trying to survive <laughs> in the middle of the night with, like, one heart left. Yeah, that's probably not too entertaining and watching me, you know, flail at the freaking spider with... My sword not even hitting him, but continuing to do so anyway, you know. I mean, I can understand why someone might think that's funny, but, you know, it's just me being angry that they're there and that I didn't realize I was in a dungeon. And I got ambushed, and I got stuck here all night. I could not, and for the life of me, I could not find any coal. There was, like, no coal in this world. Um, In the later episodes, in one of the later episodes, I actually found coal, but I only found, like, four... No, I found seven. It was a vein of seven, which is really not that great. <laughs> I was only able to make, like, 28 torches, if I did my math right. Yeah, I was able to make 28 torches. I remember, specifically. And so, <laughs> it's it's really been hard for me to provide light for you guys, so I've been doing this, like, night vision stuff. It's This is the only episode that I've edited so far, so it's the only episode that I felt it's necessary. But I do know I get trapped in another hole by one spider, but I had half a heart left, so I was too afraid to go out there and attack him. Um, but you'll see more of that later. I don't want to, uh, you know, talk too much about the later episodes before I actually get there. <laughs> um, but, oh my, yeah, oh my god, this part right here, it, I was just completely, I was actually on edge doing this, because I was trying to find coal without getting attacked by, like, a spider, because I... And I was trying to, and at the same time, I knew I didn't have light for you guys when I was recording this. I was like, that was what was pissing me off the most out of anything, like anything else in the world. You could name it, and I'd still be more pissed that I couldn't provide light for you guys, because I hate that. Not, not, not necessarily when I'm watching someone else, when I'm watching someone else, I can deal with it. But, I mean, it's like, when I make a video and I can't, like, give the people that watch it what they, you know, what they want, and still have them be able to see it you know it's like there's no it, it really makes me feel like there's no purpose to it so you know i i really like coal is usually the first thing that i go for but i found the dungeon and i kind of got led into that so i found the surface level dungeon with a bunch of sand i got all the stuff then i got ambushed and then i ended up in this situation so it was coal wasn't exactly like an easy thing for me to find because it was pitch black. I didn't have anything to light my way other than like punching holes in the side where the spiders were so I could actually get some form of light. And that reminds me, if you guys actually see any coal in this video, um, feel free to mention it because I might go back and actually get it in one, in another episode because this, this lack of coal in this world is ridiculous. All these like pits that I find in the ground and like surface level caverns that aren't actually like caverns, they're just like the little ditches where you expect to find coal, they're not there. 
<laughs> it's kind of making me angry. It's really making me angry. It's not kind of making me angry. I shouldn't go light on it. It it's really making me angry, and I want and I want to find this coal. And I know, and this is the main area that I think I would miss some. So if, if for any reason you guys can somehow see the coal in there, um, <laughs> mention it because I really need coal. I have. You'll see in later episodes. I I literally go searching and I can't find it. And I'll, I'll like, I'd like dig this huge staircase, and I still find nothing. But I don't even find a cavern when I dig that staircase. Come to think of it, but once again, I'm getting ahead of myself. But um, yeah, the coal is just ridiculous, and uh, it's ridiculously scarce anyway. But um, otherwise, yeah. Once uh, once I get out of survival mode here, um, you guys will be able to see. I don't exactly know where in the video. Um, it turns to day, but I do know it's really obvious, and I can't quite, and I can't see my video timeline either right now. I mean, I'm recording in Vegas right now, so I can see the progress bar of my audio track, and I'm trying not to, like, get any keyboard noises on there, so you guys don't, like, so you guys don't freak out about it, but I know, I know you guys really don't care, probably, but I kind of care, like, hearing those noises just kind of annoys me. And it's not like I'm, <laughs> it's not like I'm watching my own videos, like, all the time. But, um, you know, it's just one of those pet peeves that I just, you know, it, it bugs me if I know it's there. But, so, I and when, as I was saying, I'm in Vegas, and all I can see is my recording audio track. And I know somewhat, like, I can see, I know where the end of the video is, you know, somewhere on the edge there. But, um, I know where it ends, so I know once it's, like, say, like, Okay, that's it for this episode and whatnot, but I don't know exactly where the daylight occurs. Um, but I can probably remember if I look at the video here. Yeah, okay, I remember this part specifically. Um, I was actually trying to work my way into the cavern so I could, uh, actually look for some freaking coal. And this is where, our, um, particularly where I want you guys to look for it, because it's, ca I usually see coal, like, right at the entrance of caverns. And this cavern I was about to go in, but... Um, you'll see soon that something prevented me from going in there. Uh, keep in mind that I have one heart of health. You probably actually won't see this, but, um, right as I'm about to go off the edge here, I look that way and there's a skeleton right in front of me. I don't know if you can see him, but <laughs> I freaked out right there and I just turned back and blocked the path. But if you guys saw any coal there whatsoever, mention it because I didn't see it. I can't see it in the video. <laughs> Because I'm not that worried about it. I'm more or less relying on you guys. But yeah, it actually is daytime now, and the effect's going to go away soon. Or, well, it's close to daytime. I can't say it is in particular. But, um... I know it's very close to that part where it turns daytime, so... If not, there's like, oh, the video just cut out. I don't know what that's about hopefully it comes back soon <laughs> um i'll be right back guys and try to fix that okay guys i'm back um it turns out that uh sony vegas was just giving me a hard time with the uh you know the preview <laughs> i i tried running the video in windows media player and Windows Media Player ran it fine. There was no black screen. Um, actually, come to think of it, you guys probably won't even see the black screen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it was there on my screen, so I started, like, freaking out and thinking that you guys weren't going to be able to see it, and that would have just been a total buzzkill for, you know, all that commentary to have one of the videos corrupted. But, uh, no, it turns out it's fine. You guys probably won't even notice the black screen like I did. Um, so, you know... I think, uh, I think everything is going to go smoothly from here on out, hopefully. I mean, Sony Vegas can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes, but for the most part, I enjoy it. It, it works, uh, it serves the purpose that I, um, I guess am after. I, well, I'm just going to actually set my cursor towards the end of the episode here so I can actually tell. <laughs> I mean, I know I still got about, uh... Gosh, I gotta have about five minutes left. Um, but yeah, anyway. I forget what I actually wanted to talk about. There was something that popped into my head in the middle of the episode. 
in the middle of trying to, not the episode, in the middle of figuring out, uh, or trying to figure out what I was gonna, uh, talk about. And I was trying to figure out, gosh, now my train of thought has gone to hell now that I lost the rhythm of things. <laughs> um, but no, I was trying to figure out, um, what was wrong with the video, and, uh, Oh, wait, no, I, re I remember, I remember. Um, I, I was kind of thinking, uh, you know, people, uh, the only reason, another reason why I'm actually making these is because my friends are, like, asking me, like, when am I, when am I going to make more Minecraft videos? And, uh, you know, I didn't think uh, people enjoyed them that much, but if they do, I'll, by all means, keep making them. I mean, I have no qualms whatsoever about making more. I mean, I love doing it. I, I love editing videos in general, but uh, putting them on YouTube, you know, so people can see them is it, something about that just uh, makes it that much better. But um, anyway, uh, the thing that I wanted to talk about, um, kind of wanted to talk about, it's not like I have to talk about this because I'm so going to do it. But um, I was thinking about actually doing a like a creative mode series. Uh, now, I know creative mode doesn't appeal to some of you guys. Um, I can think of a few. Well, I can think of one in particular, but, uh, it's, uh, it, it's not just because I like creative mode. I, I'm not too fond of it myself just because I can't find a purpose in it. I mean, I, Minecraft itself is fun because you have to find the materials yourself and use those materials to build your awesome thing, whatever it happens to be. But, uh, I, I want to do a creative mode series because people, because I, not people, in my older videos, I tended to do all of my building off camera, and, uh, um, I kind of, and I always kind of preached that, you know, Minecraft was cool, and making videos on it, on YouTube was even cooler, because you got to express your style of building to other people, uh, and how you like to build things, and, you know, all that stuff, uh, so that's kind of why I was going to make the creative series, because I, I never really, uh, the creative mode series, because I never actually you know, showed people how I build things or how, what goes into the process because I can assure you that I have a much more different style nowadays than I did back then. I say back then like it was like years ago and it was like a month or two ago. But uh, I've been playing Minecraft recently and I noticed that my building style is a little bit different because I've been watching uh, some great people on YouTube uh, when it comes to Minecraft. They really know what, they kind of really know what they're doing when it comes to design and I've kind of been picking up a little bit, a few tips and tricks off them, um, so, you know, I, I've, I've sort of improved my, uh, Minecraft building, um, skills, I want to say, I'm not going to say skills like I'm awesome at it, but, um, I, I've improved it, and it look, my buildings and my rooms are a lot more appealing because they look a lot more unique, they're not just the typical square rooms with a door and some carpet and a bed, you know, I put more effort into it than just that now, I actually design the exterior of my houses um so you know that i was gonna make the creative mode series for that so people could see how i build nowadays um <laughs> right here you know, this part in the video uh, i was like so happy because i killed all the spiders i don't know if you guys saw me double take there when the noises stopped but i did <laughs> and so i was like okay i gotta make a pickaxe really quick and find that freaking spawner and kill it <laughs> so i that's exactly what i did but um anyway back on topic uh so yeah if you guys think that creative mode series is a something you'd want to see you know if you want to see you know me build just stuff and you know you guys could even throw out suggestions and i could build it like you could say like i don't know <laughs> nothing too complex you don't ask me to build like a huge like grand cathedral or something because I, I i don't i'm not good at i'm not that good but, you know, if you guys want to see me, like, build my own style of, like, house, like, if you want to give me, like, a themed type of deal for a house, like, a, I don't know, <laughs> I started hearing spiders here, by the way, and I freaked out. But, uh, anyway, I, you know, I could build houses out of specific materials, and, like, if you want to see me build a house out of, like, dirt or something. I know it doesn't seem like much, um, it really doesn't, as I'm saying it, even. Like, I don't feel like I could put much effort into it, and it doesn't sound 100% interesting. But I know some people want to will probably want to see me, like, build something. Because I never really do it in my videos. In this series, though, I captured everything that happened to me. <laughs> if, if I was editing the videos for, you know, simplicity and, you know, straightforwardness, like I was in my other videos, like, you know, okay, build this, go get stuff, you know. That's what I was doing before. If, and if I was going to do that, I would have uh, not captured this whole, like scene of me trying to survive and put it up because 
some people, I know for a fact, some people are going to hate me for putting this up because it's not me, you know, quote-unquote playing Minecraft. It's just me trying to survive in Minecraft. But, yeah, I jumped out there and I was happy. Eh. And now I was, like, focused on trying to find a place to live, and then I saw that huge, huge forest out to the left. It, it didn't quite hit me yet, but I look back that way and I immediately go over there. But, um, anyway, so, yeah, creative mode, let me know. Um, I might consider doing it. I'm still going to keep doing this regardless. Um, so, you don't have to worry about that. But, uh, anyway, uh, the video is kind of coming to an end here. I got about, uh, oh, geez, this video is probably going on a half hour, isn't it? No, it's about, it's about 27 minutes. That's, that's, that's pretty long. I don't know if that's too long. I'll, I'll, uh, oh, yeah, I had a spaz attack there. <laughs> I was just so happy to be away from those freaking spiders. My god, they stressed me out. I was I was stressed out down there. And as you can see, I still have like one heart left. So And I saw this pig and I got all excited because I could finally get health. But then I realized later that I didn't have enough. Oh, yeah, and that freaked me out too because now I'm down to like a half a heart. <laughs> so I'm surviving on a half a heart here, people. Uh, not too exciting. Uh, uh, it's exciting when you're actually the one trying to survive. But... Uh, you know, it, it was really intense for me. Just trying to get out of here just in case, like, a creeper was going to drop in on me. But, um, anyway. Now I completely lost where I was... Oh, my God, I don't remember. I gotta stop going on tangents like that. It's really causing me to lose my train of thought. I, I have a short attention span to begin with. But, um, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I'll kind of go back a little bit here and say, you know, creative mode, guys. If you want me to, I'll do it, but it, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of it, so it's not going to be on my priority list. I'm not going to be like, I'm uploading this regardless, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that I'm back, and I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Um, I'm going to kill the sheep here, and that's probably about the end of the episode, so I will see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy what's left of the video, because I don't know, but yeah, thanks for watching.